Hello, welcome to the YouTube channel for the Innovation Department at Harmony Public Schools. Today we're going to be taking a look at another microbit project as the second edition to our video series of mini microbit projects. The first one was the Ticklebot. If you haven't watched that, I highly recommend you go watch it because a lot of the steps that we went through in that video are going to be very similar to what we go through here and because that video is already there, we, we might speed over some things in this video. Both are quite easy, but they gradually progress as we go on. So for this one, we're going to be working on a project called Butterbot. It's a butterfly robot using microbit and to make things a bit simpler, we're going to be looking at the Hummingbird Kit. So what the Hummingbird Kit does is allows you to plug in multiple servos, multiple sensors, LEDs, and allows you a power source through a battery pack, and which will ease up on the wiring, which I'm sure if you did the Ticklebot project, you saw the wiring kit was a bit complicated, especially if you're using two servos, then you have to use a breadboard, and it can get a little messy. This will eliminate the need for all of that. So what this basically is, you plug in the micro bit, you run the same code, but it cleans up a lot of the stuff. Now, as we did in the Ticklebot, we have modified this project to work on a cutting machine. We have the Cricut Maker 3 over here. So if you have the Cricut Maker, you can grab our file, plug it into your machine, and have the machine do all the legwork for you. Otherwise, you can, you can take the template and take a pair of scissors and just cut it out yourself. Uh, the thicker the paper, the better. Now, this project was made and developed by Jasmine Florentine. I will have her website linked down below. You can look at a more in-depth instruction and description on her website as well, as well as a video of what the end result is supposed to be. So we've also modified this to work with the Hummingbird kit. If you have this kit, you can see that the servos are quite bigger than your normal servo. So the original design, that Hummingbird servo will not fit in the design. So I went ahead and modified it to be able to fit two of those servos that come with the Hummingbird kit itself. So if you take our design from below, you can either hand cut or use the cricket to cut it out for you, and you should be able to fit uh, the Hummingbird servos in this as well. And every file that you need for the project, such as the coding files for the microbit, as well as the code file for the Hummingbird servos, uh, the adaptive design, as well as the original design for if you don't want to use Hummingbird and you just want to go with the original servo and the microbit, also an option. Everything will be linked down below in the description so you can hit whatever route you want to go and you can start the project there. So let's go ahead and start. As for the code, we're going to start with getting the Hummingbird extension so we can code. So we go to the extension tab and we type in Hummingbird. And the first result will be Hummingbird bit. We click on it and it will automatically upload the extension to your dashboard. So now we are able to see all the Hummingbird code. We're going to start with a start Hummingbird on start. And you can follow along with my steps so we can get this project smoothly running and you'll have to adjust these numbers a little bit for the code but once you get the right setting it should work fairly well.
Now once everything is uploaded and to the robot, you should be able to turn on the battery pack and you'll see the wings start to flap. If the numbers don't look quite right, then you can adjust the position of the servo and keep doing that until you get a good looking flap.